Now, coronavirus has pretty much shut down the live concert industry, and it's not clear when it'll be safe to return to those big events. Well, some ticket holders are looking for refunds, not getting them. As Dominic Garcia shows us, a lot of ticket brokers have put new rules in place that are holding up their money. I've been a fan of theirs since I was a tiny little kid. This Who fan has tickets for a concert that never happened. It's just a complete letdown. And now he and his partner want their money back. We don't know what their objective is with our money. Um, it should be to get it back to us. But we seem, it seems like they have some kind of alternative motive. Kathy has called ticketoffices.com several times, and every time she gets a different response. I did talk to a supervisor one time, and she told me that they were having problems with refunding the WHO tickets and that it was going to be another month or two. Months have gone by and still no refund. On the TicketOffices.com website, under the COVID-19 Frequently Asked Questions section, it says concerts that are canceled will be compensated. It goes on to say that they do not refund postponed or rescheduled events, regardless of the length of time for the postponement or rescheduled date. It's just one of those things where we're frustrated. Many concerts and tours have not been officially canceled, tying up millions in ticket dollars. On the WHO's website, they don't use the word canceled, but it does say, the remaining dates of the WHO moving on U.S. tour will no longer be happening. Tickets will automatically be refunded at the point of purchase. What I honestly hope would happen was that somebody at this place will see this and say we need to actually start getting people's money back to them. Now Greg and Kathy are left with tickets that aren't worth the paper they're printed on. That's uh, Dominic Garcia reporting for you right there. If you charged it, you might think about doing what's called a chargeback. We reached out to TicketOffices.com for the story, but we have not gotten a reply.